Yo, what's up guys? Um, I thought I'd do a uh, little overview and review of uh, my new car. Um, good day, um, so I thought I had a chance to wash it. I spent my time on it. Anyway, this is the BMW 1 Series Coupe M Sport. Um, so it's got the M Sport body kit, suspension interior. Um, it's a really nice looking car. In a, a dark kind of metallic grey. Um, those are the wheels. Uh, really nice, uh, 17 inch um, M Sport alloys. Yeah, you can tell it's an M Sport uh, alloys if they've got the little M badges everywhere. They've got that throughout the whole car. Really, really nice colour. You don't see many in this colour. Um, you always see them in black or white. <laughs> With a nice little chrome trim surrounds on the um, on the grills there. Really nice headlights and uh, all uh, silver colour coded and uh, fog lights there. Walk down with the car. On this version, you've got when they, when the car the car's unlocked now. But when you do approach the car and unlock it, uh, you can, I don't know if you can see here the light, but it's um, there is a little LED that shines up the uh, the floor. So in case there's like a puddle, so um, you don't step in it. And then this is a uh, central locked as well. A fuel filler cap. It's a really nice looking car. Now, I've done a few modifications to my version. Um, if you look on the inside of the boot, you can see I've got a aftermarket subwoofer enclosure with an amplifier. So your boot is actually quite bigger than this, but I've got this uh, custom fitted. It's got Planet Audio Anarchy amp and a um, 1000 watt Planet Audio PX12 uh, 12 inch subwoofer. Really neat job. Uh, really happy with the build. And uh, when it's powered on, there's actually LEDs that go around here and they light up whatever color you want. So loads of sp space in the back, even with the sub enclosure. Um, you get it hasn't got any uh, spare wheels. It's uh, got run flat tires, so you'd be you haven't got anything there but the uh, battery, and you have got a little bit of compartment space there, and uh, there's not much here, but there's a little bit of space, and you've got a little uh, thing there. It also comes with a um, first aid kit, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's go inside. So, M Sport uh, sills here, and um, these are these aren't the stock car mats. I got these separately, but these are M Sport car mats that you can find on eBay or what have you. Half leather seat. Um, you can uh, lots of adjustments you can make um, up or down on the seat. Uh, that's tilt. You know, goes backwards, forwards. Um, this is a uh, another tilt option, and um, that down there will actually move the seat, and this. And uh, extend the uh, seat for forward, and then you just push it back like that. In the back, um, it's a two seat. Uh, it's two seats in the back, not three. Um, so it's a four-seater car, and you got a little centre console tray um, and a little headrest there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I can show you the headrest as well. There's a little. Uh, if you press this button here, the headrest come up like that. Which is pretty smart. And you got a little uh, light console with uh, ambient lighting um, and uh, airbags in the left and right. Past itself, you got speakers there. I've upgraded mine to rainbow component speakers. And then in the doors, I've got uh, electric mirrors, electric uh, 
windows, of course. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you can see there, but that's a rainbow speaker uh, component in there. And a rainbow uh, aftermarket uh, tweeters installed there. And so I'll just close it. So inside it's really quiet, which is great. Um, I've got an aftermarket uh, parrot doubled in on mine. See if I can zoom in on that without the glare. Yeah, so it's an aftermarket parrot doubled in. Really smart piece of kit. Climate control. Um, dual zone climate control. So on the right side you can set a temperature, you know, like that. And then you can change it on the left side. Or have them all the same. And it's all automatic. Uh, you can set it to automatic where you just adjust it to the weather outside. Um, front windshield uh, uh, D mist and uh, rear D mist. Uh, let's turn this light on. Um, no, actually, it looks a bit crap. Uh, yeah, uh, steering wheel, uh, volume up and down, make a phone call. This is all connected to the Parrot um, doubled in, which is great. Um, and then skip track, change the audio source. Uh, those are the instrument dials there. When I bought this, it had 14,000 miles on it, so I put 2,000 on it so far. And that's what it looks like when it's lit up. Really smart. Um, this is an auto dimming uh, rear view mirror. And then here, which is the sun visor, um, if I lift this up. Oh, oh, you just slide it that way. It's not focusing. Yeah, there we go. Slide it that way, and it's got a little light. Like that. And I'll slide it back. So that's pretty cool. Um, M Sport steering wheel badge. Um, M Sport uh, gear knob badge. Um, got a centre console armrest. Really good uh, height. Um, so you can rest your elbow on there while uh, holding the uh, gear stick. Which is a really good, uh, nice place for it to be. Um, you know, I don't I don't smoke, so I've not got smokers pack. Just got a little thing. You don't really smoke in your car, it devalues it and it stinks and it makes it look crap. Um, uh, half leather seat again, um, you know, your glove box is down there, all stand fair, really. Uh, this is the ambient lights, these are two amber LEDs, are ambient lights, um, and you've got a reading light, reading light, and main light. Uh, yeah, um, that's the uh, you got little clips to uh, hide your um, uh, seat belt holders in, and uh, yeah, it's a really nice car. Um, great BMW build quality. Um, you got the uh, start button switch, so all you got to do is push this in here, which is your a key, uh, your key which doesn't have a uh, actual key. It's just a block, but there's a key inside. But that's only in case you you stuck. <laughs> Um, but yeah, start push button start. Hold your foot on the clutch, and then you just press the button, and it fires up. Dead easy. This is the uh, 118D. This is a two-liter turbo diesel. It's pretty quick, and uh, probably get it remapped at some point. Um, so I'll just turn that off for now, and then you press it. As you can see, when you turn it off, it turns the uh, majority of the car off. But then if I uh, press it once, and then it turns the whole car off and then it'll go into sleep mode after a bit and you press it again it was basic electronics press it again and everything else comes on um yeah so i'll just give you a quick look at this this um in my opinion every car um should have one of these if you, if you go to bmw and you buy uh, an iDrive system with sat nav and all the iPod interface and everything. It's going to cost you like 1,600 quid or probably more um, if you get the full sh full controls and everything. And and you get a clunky software with really slow um, software, a really crappy touchscreen, and it's going to... And the maps will go out of date very, very quickly. Um, whereas with this, every, every car should come with Android double dins like this. This is from... This is the Parrot Smart... And this is a uh, double din that I had um, custom installed, and this will set you back about four hundred fifty pounds. Um, that's what it is on eBay. And being Android, you can literally do whatever you want with it. It's you can set the wallpaper to 
a BMW one. Let's see if I can get to focus properly. There we go. Yeah, you can set the wallpaper to a BMW or whatever manufacturer your car is. It's a really intuitive touchscreen, really good quality. Um, it's it's really responsive, which isn't like the Alpine. Uh, for example, like an Alpine head unit, you'd be paying for about one thousand pounds for for something anywhere you know with this kind of functionality with sat nav, iPod, and all that kind of stuff. And you get good quality with Alpine, and you get good sound quality from Alpine, but this, it can't match the functionality of this because it's android and you can you can just download whatever apps you want it's you know you're familiar with it um you can change the wallpaper you've got an sd card installed you can update your maps on the fly you can have google maps you can it also it comes with its own map software called igo primo um which is um to be honest it's better than google maps in my opinion some people don't like it but it's personal preference it's on the brightest stuff there we go uh, but it's personal preference. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's an amazing piece of kit. This um, I've uh, made my own wallpaper, so I've got BMW in the background there, and the icon right in the middle, and then I just swipe to the right, and then you got a little M M uh, badge there. Um, but yeah, it's a great piece of kit. I mean, I've got my phone connected, which connects automatically to the, my phone's phone book via Bluetooth and internet. So I can um, literally just go on uh, applications. I can go on, you know, like Facebook, um, Deezer. I've got Spotify, music. Uh, for example, if I click on Spotify, um, it automatically connects to my Spotify account and I can stream music through the internet through using my phone's 4G signal. Um, you know, uh, directly through this. So if I click on top list, uh, top tracks, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I can just play this. Um, for example, um, and it just plays like that. It's and with my uh, sound upgrade, it sounds amazing. This wakes up, bass kicks in. You know. Let's rage. And you just tap the screen to pause and tap to play. And then you swipe right to change track. Dead easy. Just like that, tap again to play. Uh, dead simple. Um, I've also... Uh, um, now you do... Uh, the Parrot doesn't come with this... Uh, um, well, it doesn't come with the Google... Uh, Play Store uh, natively from the box. You have to root it um, and uh, put that on manually. Um, but um, out of the box, it'll come with something called uh, Asteroid Market, which has limited amount of apps. But with uh, Play Store on, it's it's an amazing piece of kit. I mean, the, every car should have Android in it in this day and age, in my opinion. There you got YouTube. Um, you can get live TV. Um, you can get all sorts of crazy stuff on um, on this so I just want to sign into my YouTube account um, here we go and obviously it depends how fast your internet is um, but yeah like you know I it's it, look at that it's just brilliant uh, you name me an Alpine or a BMW that can stream YouTube you know right out of the box yeah it's great um, you know you've got all sorts uh, Live TV, you got emails, you know, Facebook. Don't really use Facebook in my car, really. Um, but, you know, um, yeah, you know, notifications, that kind of stuff. Um, the main apps I use is Spotify and the Bear Music apps and, um, and the live TV and YouTube, to be honest. Like if I'm waiting in the car for someone, for example. Um, you got a browser, so you can browse the internet or you could download Chrome. Uh, so Google, um, I've also got um, this pretty cool thing, if I press that, uh, it loads up this, um, which is my uh, UI that I use while I'm uh, driving. So as well as obviously there, but this looks cool, because uh, you, you can do loads of cool stuff, it's called the Elusive Speedometer, which you can get on Play Store, which is great for in a car, um, you got the set your own profile so mine's called BMW and spot mode and then it gives you the, your miles per hour average speed moving and um, you can press that changes the elevation race and then when you press and hold it it activates it so then the next time I set off it'll tell me I'm not 60 time not 200 quarter mile etc um, so that's pretty smart um, really love that it's it's a great little device great little software um, and then you can play your music from there 
and uh, uh, I think it's trying to play, but it can't find the source because I messed it up. But yeah, um, and then you just press back. That's really cool software. Um, and then this is really good. Um, the way it connects to your phone, phone, you've got contacts. Got all my contacts on there, you know. Uh, it always updates it when you step in the car. You got favorites, etc. But the voice command's brilliant. Now, the, what this voice command does, you've got two options. You've got music or contacts. So I've got my Bluetooth microphone there. Um, and then, oh, I'm trying to say something. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's hidden. You can't really see it. Um, but um, you can say a, a track or a phone, uh, a contact or, uh, you know, what have you. And then it'll uh, play the uh, whatever it is you're looking for. But it'll search through Spotify. It'll search through your iPod. Um, you know, if I go on music here, it'll search. You see, these are all my sources. I've got the radio, Bluetooth audio on my phone, line in Spotify, and then my iPod. So um, it'll search through all of them. Um, and then it'll find uh, your track. So let's just try it out. It's really easy to use. Jimi Hendrix. And then it's searching Spotify. It normally searches Spotify first, but as you can see, here's got the little iPod icon. Then I can just start playing Jimi Hendrix. And it's really quick and easy. Um, it's brilliant. Okay, and then let's try calling a contact. Uh, for example, let's have a look. Who do you want to call? Dipia. Yeah, so I called her then and uh, she raged at me, so uh, yeah, and uh, the camera cut off. But anyway, yeah, that's what that's like. Um, and it automatically comes out the speakers, as you would imagine. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, brilliant. Um, so I would definitely recommend getting one of these, if, you know, uh, that's TV there. Um, I'll see if this uh, TV works. It really does depend on how well your internet is on your 4g on your phone um with this thing um hopefully it'll work if it doesn't it'll just stop loading oh there we go yeah all right so yeah uk live tv bikini babes you know all that kind of stuff um so uk live tv i don't know um what bbc2 so now it's gonna load it up um bbc2 in my car yo um which is awesome uh when it loads obviously like i said this really does depend on how well your internet is and it will leach a lot of data uh come on bbc2 yeah oh yeah i didn't mention these so this is your hazard lights uh central locking button and you've got dynamic traction control as well. If you turn it off, press and hold, and it goes off. Yeah, so there we go. There you go. BBC2 live TV in my car. You know, it's... Uh, and this unit's £450. Go and get one. Anyway, yeah, I suppose that wraps it up. So, uh, yeah, hope you like my video. And don't forget to subscribe.